This video is a brief intro introduction to writing web applications using the Pyramid Web App Framework uh, within PyCharm. Let's get started by creating a new project. We're going to give it a name. I put them uh, in this location. You can put it wherever you like. I'm going to select a pyramid project as the type. Now get an interpreter. <clears throat> We're going to create a new virtual environment. I name my virtual environments according to whatever version I'm going to be writing in. And I also like to place them within my projects folder within my specific project. The base interpreter just for this demo is going to be 27. Leave inherit global site packages unchecked. By the way, Pyramid is compatible with Python 3.2 and 3.3. All right, we're going ahead and apply that. Click OK. Click OK. And when you see this, don't do the default. You want to select No because then you're automatically presented with some options for uh, using one of three scaffolds that come built in with Pyramid. Um, we're going to use the starter scaffold. But there's one that can use SQLchemy or ZODB as a data storage or persistent storage. Now, uh, during this time, we can go enjoy a delicious beverage. Um, PyCharm is going out to PyPy, downloading all the relevant libraries, packages, putting them all together, uh, making sure the dependencies are satisfied, and uh, should be pretty quick. And we're done. Very cool. Uh, next, we are, um, let's take a look at what our project looks like. This is our virtual environment, and it contains a bunch of stuff. I won't go into that. This is our project folder. That contains a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to play with this in a minute. Uh, and then here's a bunch of meta stuff. Before we can actually do any development, though, we need to um, run setup.py. And that's underneath the tools menu here in PyCharm. So we're going to run the setup.py task, and we're going to run it with the uh, pyramid. Um, the develop argument and just click OK. It goes through a bunch of rigmarole. Once that's going to be done, we can play around with um, running our uh, pyramid server. Um, if you wanted to actually edit the configuration, you can go in there, but what's so great about uh, PyCharm is that, uh, and its integration with Pyramid, is that it automatically creates a um, run configuration for you. And there we go. Wow, awesome. It used to be a lot more painful. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and start our Pyramid server. Just click Run Project. And it'll start by serving up this URL. Just click it. Should open up your favorite browser. And there we are. We have a Pyramid server running. Um, off to the right, we have the debug toolbar. It has a whole bunch of information. You can play with that later. Uh, here in the center, there's some useful links uh, to get support, uh, live support from uh, the IRC channel. But be nice, hey, it's IRC. And um, a lot of great narrative documentation, tutorials that you can go through to experiment some more, and so on. Uh, let's go back to PyCharm, and I want to show you something, uh, how we can actually edit that home page. So um, I know that it happens to be right in here. It's in my template. And I want to uh, edit some stuff here. Uh, which one do I want to do? I want to get it right above the search document. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, look at that. Um, and I'm going to uh, save this change to my template and then reload the page. 
Yay! And one thing I, I have done here is that um, this run configuration automatically reloads the templates. Usually, if you don't have it auto-reloading, and uh, you'll have to um, specify to auto-reload the templates if you want that to happen. Otherwise, you have to stop and restart the server in order to have your changes show up. That's it. Enjoy Pyramid and PyCharm.